lecture i'm going to discuss what how to find the last inserted record in microsoft sql server table so this here i'm going to create the table tbl emp the table that's created and here i did id is in identity columns so identity column that is start from one and every time you insert the record that increase by one now here inserting the records so one rows inserted and here the second going to insert so two rows that inserted after that now let's see so here you can see id 1 2 and here this or two rows that inserted after that the next is going to insert one more rows so result 2 and 27 that inserted now they after i'm going to display here last inserted record in microsoft sql server so last inserted record is now razor and 23 so to get here last inserted record so here you need to right select a start from table here where cross and id filtering so here select ident current and here pass the tbl emp so with the help of this this is now returning last inserted record 3 result to 27 so this here i recently inserted now thereafter you can get here last inserted records with the help of scop identity so here you can see 3 result to 27 that's inserted now thereafter i am going to insert one more so rasel 3 and giving the s28 insert so last inserted record is now this here rasel 3 28 now if i run this query here you can see 4 and rasel 3 28 that's displayed so with the help of ident underscore correct so this will display here or uh, here this is display lost inserted records and the same you can get with the help of a scop identity this also or uh, returning the same thing okay so this is the way we can find your lost inserted record and here you can see id so id that equal to select id current so if i run this one inside this so this is now 4 when here id equal to 4 so this returning 4 the table has this all values so when that here id equal to 4 4 match then that return so this here id current that's so written here lost columns and here if i run this one so here this also returning 4 so when that match your id with the 4 then that return with according to that that returning the record okay so here i didn't current that's returning last two rows of this table and the, here that's also here scope identity so identity value last scope identity value that's returned so this is the way we can get here last inserted record in microsoft sql server so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now this video is over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you